All right, welcome back to the workshop. We're going to do a little grinding today. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a quarter inch high speed steel turning bit for the mini lathe. We are going to use the 1x30 belt sander to put a cutting edge on it. Now, this will be the test of my abilities to try to do this without blocking too much of the camera. Our sharp point will be right here. This will be our knife edge, our, our chisel edge. So to do that, we're going to make a general purpose turning tool that can fit into some tight corners. I'm going to use this little piece of shim stock as a straight edge. Straight. I like for this one at least, we're going to try to get it under 90 degrees as far as the relief goes. That means the angle of this tip, now that can fit, once that's ground, that will be able to fit inside corners when we turn uh, shoulders, things of that nature. So that's something to consider. Just as a general guide, I'll scribe a line basically 90 degrees from the face. You may recognize this belt sander from our award-winning YouTube multi-part series on making a homemade knife out of a table saw blade. Uh, for this, the rest of this sequence, I'm going to have the vacuum on, the grinder on, and my mask on, so there won't be very much in the way of voiceover. Lucky you! All right, still wet from the uh, from the dunk tank to keep it cool. But as you can see, there it is. It's uh, nothing too complicated. So this is the top surface. This is the cutting edge. We've got our back relief there. Uh, we have our this is our back bevel. This is basically one bevel of the knife edge. And as we flip it over here, this is the front. So this basically faces towards the headstock. Uh, we're going to be cutting along like that. Uh, that's the front, got a nice clean face there. Uh, didn't follow our layout lines 100% as far as this back bevel, but uh, I'm not worried about it. You know, this is a, a much larger cutting edge than we're ever going to need. We're probably only going to be using a, a fifth of that. So the next next step really is just to kind of take that, that cutting edge down to a stone and uh, and get a fine finish on it. Now, for a general purpose turning tool where you want a really nice turning finish, you would actually radius this small point right here. That right there is a, a bit sharp. As a result, uh, will leave very fine grooves in your turned workpiece. So to avoid that, you could you could uh, just just round that over just the slightest bit, just on on that angle. Of course, keeping this this top edge still as sharp as as you can manage.
I'm starting to work up to a pretty nice edge there. Okay, with the tool installed in the lathe, let's go ahead and take a test cut on some one inch aluminum round stock here. Should be a nice easy turn, right? Ten thousandths, twenty thousandths, let's see what she can do. So that should be about a 50 thousandths cut right there that I'm just uh, hand feeding and it's actually hogging it away no problem. Getting a little stringier chips though. Alright, adjust the tool angle a little bit and uh, we'll go for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 on the power feed. Yeah, don't even care. Started grown there on that shoulder cut. Uh, the surface finish is not. Surface finish is definitely a little rougher than the other tool that has a little bit more of a radius nose. Uh, but it, boy, it sure does take off a whole lot of whole lot of metal real quick, like. That's all there is to it.